Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from the customer success team at freeconference.com. Today, I'm going to walk you through our new online meeting room. It's gone through a makeover and there's lots of really excellent new features. Um, you join it in the same way as you would have before. Uh, if you're logged into your account, uh, hit start. You can see I've got a call in progress, so I can click here. I will click here. Um, internet. And you can see you will now enter the conference. It's already a couple of people in the call and someone's sharing their screen. Um, the first thing you're going to notice is this menu at the top is gone and it's replaced by this much simpler menu in the center. And there is also another small menu on the right hand side. Um, participants have a slightly different view. They won't see this option here to change uh, mute mode and they will also have the option here to raise their hand uh, at the top. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, so you can, as before, mute your line, Muted. unmute I'm your muted. line, turn on your video, share your screen. That hasn't changed. Uh, application window or your whole desktop. Uh, and you can hang up from the call. That's also not different. Um, here this used to be at the top left. That's just the time of your how long your call's been going for. Uh, and here is a, a new feature. Um, so previously, you'd only be able to see the tiles that we call them, the participants here on the bottom, and they would just sort of sc and you can scroll across. Now we have this new participant list. If you click on that, it's going to open up uh, the menu on the right hand side. We've still got the chat here if you need that. But now you can also see participants over there on the right hand side. Um, you can still see people here on the bottom or you can turn that off uh, with this handy. There's this icon here, hide participant tiles and they go away from the bottom. We'll leave them here for the moment. Um, what's great about this new list is you have a much better overview. Here I can see Elijah who's sharing his screen um, that they are viewing only. They have no audio connected. You can also see their connection here. It's excellent connection. If anyone's got any issues with their connection, it'll show red and you'll see an error message and uh, you can talk to people if they've got audio issues. It's much easier to troubleshoot. You can ask them um, maybe to turn off their video that could improve the audio if they're you know using mobile Wi-Fi or they have a weak connection for whatever other reason um, you can also directly mute or unmute individual participants if you click on the tile you'll see more options you can make someone a moderator and then you'll see that star appear uh, you can pin their tile or the audio or video uh, you can also do those same things over here as you previously could uh, and if they're not a moderator you will also see that you can remove them from the call you can completely disconnect them so we'll just leave them unmuted for the moment uh, and there's your own tile will always show at the top um, so from here you you have now also the option to mute everybody. Um, this is also available over here. You see that you've got those same options. Uh, so if you hit mute all, you're now going to be given the option to allow participants to unmute themselves or not. Um, by default, it's checked and that is what we call Q&A mode. Uh, if it's unchecked, that's what we call presentation mode. So that's really great if you have a very large call and it's um, you just don't want people to um, to unmute themselves and, and interfere. You can make sure everyone remains muted. Uh, often at the end of a large call you might have a Q&A session in which case you can come here and change that and allow people to unmute themselves. And if you Q&A mode on do that. Participants may now unmute themselves. You'll see that that changes the mute mode and then you can unmute and you'll see they're, they're grayed out and made black and white here on these tiles when they're muted. 
like I was explaining, if it's in Q&A mode uh, and people uh, want to uh, ask a question, they can raise their hand. And you'll see there, uh, there the tile of the person that raised their hand went straight to the top. So you can really easily identify so you can really easily identify people who, who want to. So if you've got 20 people in there and you're trying to sift through, if anyone needs to speak, you'll immediately see their tile move to the top of the list. And you can then unmute their line if they're muted so that they can speak. And when they're done, uh, you, can, you can mute their line again and you can lower their hand so you know that they are finished talking. So... That is brilliant. Um, also, when people are talking, uh, you will notice that their tile moves towards the top and is also visible here at the bottom if you have that open. What used to be in the menu, you'll find a lot of those options here on the right hand side. Um, so you can close this participant list or open it. You can go to the chat. Uh, in the chat is where you can also upload a document. Um, it was uh, a while ago part of the screen sharing option um, that is now available here. You can either just drag and drop into this box here in the chat or you click on the paperclip icon and you can upload a document there for people to download. Um, what's another one here? On the desktop. So we can pop in a picture, it can be a PDF, it can be a PowerPoint. And from here, people can download it for themselves or they can also present it here as well. Note that when you present a document from this chat, that anyone in your meeting can now uh, control this document and uh, make changes. To how it's being shared. So this is really great if you have a small team meeting and, and you want to hand over the control to someone else. For larger calls it's best to use screen share to share a document. Uh, but this is excellent if you just want to upload something for people um, to be able to quickly see for themselves. Uh, and in this menu now the next on the list is uh, invite participants. That's the same way as it always been. Pop your email address in here, send the invite to them. They can join straight away. Um, and then you've also got the conference details. From here you can go to your dashboard if you wish to. Uh, if you need a dial-in number for someone you can get that from here. Um, you can also uh, find the phone controls if that's required. So lots of handy information there. And finally, you've got your settings. And here you can, if you need to check your video, your camera's working, you've got a good angle there. Uh, if you want to change the microphone to a different one, different audio that's being played in the conference, uh, you can also just check that everything's working as it should do. If you do change settings here, uh, like maybe you've got a, Web, uh, external webcam that you'd like to use instead of the, the one on your, your laptop or your computer. Uh, just make sure you, once you've made any changes, hit save. And then you'll need to either refresh the browser window or just hang up. Uh, and don't end the conference if you're the moderator, just exit and then join again. And those settings will be saved. Uh, the other excellent feature um, now that you can hide the participant list you can make this menu here go away uh, you can go to full screen and it's a really great way to be able to clearly share a document with other people there's very little disturbance on the screen and um, they can view it filling up their entire monitor so that is an excellent feature. If you do have questions at all about this new online meeting room or anything else uh, about the free conference service, please feel free to reach out to our support team 
if you go to our help center you'll find uh, you can uh, open a ticket there or you can there's a phone number or you can always write to us at support at freeconference.com have a great day